Hi, new day, new topic. Now we're gonna talk about diuretics algorithm. This is an algorithm that will help you pick up which diuretic the question is asking about. And we are talking in this video about electrolytes in the blood, not in the urine. Electrolytes in the urine will be the next video. So, we'll talk about diuretics in the blood. For example, if you see like hypokalemia or hyperkalemia, can you guess which diuretic was given? That's the question. So, first of all, we have to define diuretics. Diuretics are drugs that you take to make diuresis to cause diuresis to cause you to urinate so here is that your urinary bladder okay cute so all diuretics cause loss of sodium and water by definition every diuretic will cause loss of sodium and loss of water so all of the diuretics will lead to hyponatremia okay now let's go. We have four diuretics, um, potassium sparing diuretics, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, loop diuretics, and thiazide diuretics. We're not talking about mannitol in this video. So let's get started. So the first thing to look at is the potassium. What's the potassium level in the blood? You can have either hypokalemia or hyperkalemia. All of the diuretics will lead to hypokalemia except potassium sparing diuretics. Simple. So if the question described a patient who has taken diuretics and you noticed hyponatremia and hyperkalemia, boom, you already know which diuretic was given. So potassium sparing diuretics like Example will be spironolactone, eplerinone, triamterene, ameliorite, and so forth. Okay, but if the potassium was low in the blood, like hypokalemia, we are not done yet. We have to look at the second part or the second electrolyte, which is bicarbonate or bicarb. So, there is only one diuretic that lead to loss of bicarbonate in urine okay in, okay so the bicarbonate level will be low in the blood and this diuretic is the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors example acetazolamide okay but if the bicarbonate level in the blood is normal or high you have to look at calcium okay so Calcium, if the calcium is low, that's loop diuretic. If the calcium is high, they, these are the thiazide diuretics. So, a mnemonic to remember that is like loop makes you lose calcium, and thiazides make the calcium thrives. Make the calcium thrive. So, loop lose thiazide calcium thrives okay so note that these diuretics will lead to either acidosis or alkalosis so for example let's start with the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors that lead to loss of bicarbonate in urine so bicarbonate is lost and bicarbonate is basic is alkaline so the loss of the base is acidosis so carbonic anhydrase inhibitors will lead to acidosis that's fine okay now let's see what about the potassium sparing diuretics these diuretics will inhibit aldosterone what was the action or the function of aldosterone aldosterone caused reabsorption of sodium and 
excretion or secretion of potassium and hydrogen. So loss of hydrogen ions is alkalosis. That's the aldosterone. When I block aldosterone, I again, again, aldosterone leads to absorption of sodium and secretion of hydrogen ions. Hydrogen ions are acidic. So the loss of acid is alkalosis. That's aldosterone. When I block the aldosterone, I get acidosis. So potassium sparing diuretics will lead to acidosis. Now, let's look at loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics. These are diuretics, so they will lead to loss of sodium and water in urine. Then, then what will happen? Aldosterone will respond. And what does aldosterone do? Secretion of hydrogen ions, which are acidic, so the result is alkalosis. So both of loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics will lead to alkalosis. So to recap, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors will lead to acidosis. Potassium sparing diuretics, acidosis. Both loop and thiazide diuretics will lead to alkalosis. That's it. Let's recap the algorithm again. All diuretics will lead to loss of salt and water. So you have to have hyponatremia. First, let's look at potassium. If it's high, that's potassium sparing diuretic, such as spironolactone. If it's low, let's lo look at HCO3 bicarb. If it's low, that's carbonic anhydrase inhibitors as acetazolamide. If it's high, let's look at calcium. If it's low, that's loop. And if it's high, that's thiazide. See you next video. We'll talk about diuretics algorithm by looking at electrolytes in urine. Please subscribe so that you get new videos every week. See you later.